Well, the weather was noticeably cold at daybreak on Sunday. That's because temperatures had dropped over 10 degrees overnight. With such drops in temperature, doctors say some people with certain health conditions who normally exercise outdoors early in the morning might be better off exercising indoors and that they should seek medical attention immediately if they feel any pain in their chest or have difficulty breathing. The current wave of cold air is expected to be at its strongest on Monday and Tuesday. As for the upcoming Lunar New Year holiday, the Central Weather Bureau says the first few days of the break will be on the cold side, with the arrival of an even stronger cold air mass on Lunar New Year's Day. The skies were overcast with the arrival of another weather front. Compared with Saturday's temperature of around 27 degrees in northern Taiwan, Sunday's temperature was only around 16 degrees and dipped even further at night. By this evening, Miao Li and areas north, including Taoyuan and the greater Taipei area, could see temperatures of 10 degrees and lower. The impact will be felt until Tuesday. Temperatures in greater Taipei from today onward will continue to slide downward with possible lows of 11 or 12 degrees. The Central Weather Bureau predicts that on Monday and Tuesday, lows in northern Taiwan are expected to be at 11 and 12 degrees. Temperatures in central and southern Taiwan could also drop to 13 to 14 degrees. The cold air mass will weaken on Wednesday and Thursday, but another wave of the northeastern monsoon will be on its heels, arriving on Friday. On January 20th and 21st, another wave of the northeastern monsoon will have an impact. Compared with the strength of the cold air for today and tomorrow, it will be slightly weaker. Rainfall will be limited to the northern and eastern regions. On Friday and then on Lunar New Year's Eve and Lunar New Year's Day, another cold air mass will be moving southward. This doctor says that when temperatures drop suddenly, or when there are big swings in temperatures, it can easily cause vasoconstriction. People with high blood pressure, high blood sugar or high cholesterol, as well as older adults, should pay special attention to increased risks of heart disease and stroke. In fact, these kinds of temperature swings are not okay for some older adults and people with chronic cardiovascular and cerebrovascular diseases. The most important thing is to keep warm. For example, you can do some exercise to warm you up and add on some warm clothes. Dr. Lin also says if you have one of six major symptoms, including chest pain, difficulty in breathing and cold sweats, you should seek medical attention. In addition, you should not stop exercising because of the cold weather. Instead, it is recommended that you exercise indoors in the morning. Owing to reasons related to the COVID pandemic and an aging society, we found that close to 18 percent of people have not been exercising recently. If you don't exercise, your body fat will continue to accumulate and your cardiovascular disease may become more acute. According to statistics, before the COVID pandemic, around 15 percent of Taiwanese did not exercise. But last year, that figure had increased to 18 percent. The Sports Administration has also found that the age groups that tend not to exercise regularly are 45 to 49 for men and 40 to 44 for women.